So we got some free time, the weather's great. What are we gonna do today? I say let's go walk around downtown Caldwell. Come along. All right, Treasure Valley Dave. Hey, we're in downtown Caldwell right now. And uh, I'm thinking we need to go check things out. Come on. So here we are down on Main Street. And uh, here's the Indian Creek Steakhouse Complex. It used to be right over there was the restaurant and then they bought this store and then they bought that store. Apparently it used to be self-service furniture. Well, that sounds like Ikea to me, maybe from the old days, huh? So uh, that's come on. Everything in downtown Caldwell is, is like, um, I don't know, being refurbished and fixed up and spruced up and They've really done a great job down here. Some little boutique shops, restaurants. Wow. This is pretty cool. And it looks like they are doing a lot of work on that Indian Creek over there, wouldn't you say? I think so. Ah, the old Caldwell Historical District. Pretty cool. And Indian Creek's got a little outdoor patio to enjoy a nice cool evening. Um, that place over there, D&J Enterprises, Historic Mil Military Collectibles, a great place. You can get such, uh, such history lessons in there. Steubenberg Marketplace, huh? Oh, yeah. And so uh, we've got this whole area of town called the Steubenberg Historical District. And uh, one day we'll go check that out too. Golden Palace. I've been there a time or two. Hey, this looks interesting. A mono. Wow, check that out. And what do we find behind us? Ah, the old train depot. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Then there's a thrift store over there that uh, been in quite a few times. And there's some more businesses down that way. Not so much retail, but you can see the, the boutique type of a thing is really catching on down here. So what is it that uh, draws so many people down here? Well, let's go take a look. Let's see, what's that? That tall building over there is the Treasure Valley Community College. Well, that doesn't look like such a bad place to go. And I know they just opened a pizza place right here. Always excited about pizza. Oh, it's coming soon. Can't wait to try that out. Wine down. Well, that sounds like good advice. Fire and Ice Pottery Studios. Cool. Huh. It's funny, people are honking at me. Maybe they know me. <laughs> so what's over here? Obviously we got the creek. Or creek. So I don't know if you saw my video from last winter, but they put out over a million lights along here. It's just a fantastic show and everybody turns out for weeks and weeks but right now it's just a lazy afternoon to come out here and 
go for a walk and enjoy these soothing sounds of the running water. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Let's check out the other side. Pretty nice. So was that all there is down here? I should think not. We've kind of got this plaza area over here. Oh, let's check this out. Little fun area for the kids that are musically inclined. From the Indian Creek Musical Art Park. Uh-huh. Well, I might be able to play one of those but certainly don't ask me to sing because it won't turn out well. We got some more businesses coming. Oh, this is open now. Ah. I guess if I needed a fancy dress, that's exactly where I would go, huh? So here's the plaza. Ah, look at those kids having fun. So in the winter time, this is where they have the outdoor ice skating rink. And um, they do all sorts of things throughout here. Well, all times of the year, they've got something going on. Um, we do have on Tuesdays right here in downtown Caldwell, they have the Farm to Fork Farmer's Market. That's every Tuesday and uh, I always always support farmers markets because you get some great food and uh, helping out the local economy. Also on Tuesdays is Tuesdays on the Creek Concert Series. So if you want to come down here and that's the band shell right over there and just kind of relax and enjoy yourself. Um, one of the fun things they do is coming up they have the the Hot Potato Festival and everything there is potato related. I mean, go figure, right? It's Idaho. <laughs> um, and then every third Thursday, they have the downtown get down. And it's always some kind of, a, it's not always music and stuff like that, but it's always something that's kind of family friendly, just, you know, fun to come out and, uh, you know, get away and meet people. And, oh, do you know what I'm noticing? I don't see anybody wearing masks. Are all these guys idiots or maybe do they know something that we don't know? Huh. I'm going to probably side with the ladder on that. Ah, so here's a building that's available if you want to move your business over here. Oh, I've heard of this, the Chop Shop Barbecue. That's supposed to be really good. Soda Burst. Hey, cookies. Nothing wrong with that. On the corner there is the Flying M. And they've got, uh, you know, coffee and stuff like that. But it's a, a local chain. They've got one over in Nampa and I believe one over in Boise as well. So if you're a rock star, maybe one day you'll be performing over here on this stage, huh? I don't know if they'll let you park right up front like this guy, but uh, that'd be cool, huh? So the Indian Creek Plaza shop. Got some more businesses coming soon. Frozen yogurt. I know they've got uh, Gourmet donuts oh, in one of these places over here. Oh, there it is, Lucky 13. Yeah, this is pretty nice. So Caldwell is you know, a fairly small little town, about 50,000 people. 
um, but they certainly have tons of spirit I and mean, they've always got something going on parades festivals I mean every time you turn around there's something oh look the Idaho soap company I mean, this is a very thriving downtown wouldn't you say we've only been about you know one block and there's block after block going that way and in every direction from here is is the old downtown oh look rediscovered books how cool is that so Caldwell definitely the place to be I'd certainly give it two thumbs up and if you're in the area come check it out it does have a kind of a country feel to it you won't be surprised to see somebody wearing a cowboy boots and a cowboy hat walking around that's kind of cool huh and you might not see that in downtown Boise but life is just a little bit slower over here in Caldwell and it's meant to be that way So if you've enjoyed this video, please make sure you uh, share it, like, subscribe, and we put out new videos twice a week, at least, and I don't want you to miss a single one. Well, remember, this is Treasure Valley Dave, always looking forward to helping you get home. Take care.